previously on Minecraft Story Mode. That glow, that enchantment is the work of a very old group of builders. A group so old that they existed even before the Order of the Stone. Okay, guys, I'm seeing grass, forest, lots of ground in all directions. All good signs so far. Ahem. Uh -huh. Verdict says, definitely not our world. You owe me two iron, Lucas. Pay up. Okay, okay. Here. <laughs> Told you it was a dumb bet. Cut the worried faces, guys. Whatever this place throws at us, it'll be no problem. I hope you're right. I was just... Uh, I'm just worried about Axel and Olivia. What? Why? Well, if they followed us back to that old builder temple and went through the portal... They would arrive in Sky City to find it overflowing with monsters. Yeah. At least we already built them the bridge. That is more than we started with. Hey, maybe next time we're in the portal hall we can leave a sign or something. Tell them which one we're going through. I like that idea. Well, I for one vote that we not be so hasty to try and get out of here. Who knows what sorts of treasures this new world could hold. Besides, unless the next portal is disguised as a tombstone, I'm not seeing it anywhere near here. You guys see some sort of shape over there? Yeah, what is that? Let's find out. It says, invitation, and then read immediately, your life depends on it. <clears throat> Greetings, traveler. Yep, that seems about right. Keep reading, Jesse. We've got your back. I, I humbly invite you to my mansion for an evening of food and festivity with your fellow adventurers. That's odd. Yeah, weird, right? Whoa! <laughs> yeah. Petra, any time now? You can read, right? Hang on, hang on. Need to find Jesse's place. Uh, got it. Come to my home on the hill. Just follow the path. Please look out for zombies. Sincerely, the host. Nice warning. Come on, there's the path. I must say, this is the highest concentration of zombies I've ever seen in one place. You think this host is going to be legit, Jesse? I just asked because this place hasn't exactly been friendly so far. Boy, I hope so. I wouldn't mind getting out of the zombies for a bit. I'm going to go out on a limb and say... That's the place we're looking for. Race you guys there. Oh, yeah. I don't race so much anymore. Bad, bad knees. Hey, just try not to die, okay? I'm trying to keep everyone together here. Sure, sure, that's fine. But you gotta catch me first.
Too, right? Almost sounds like a Jesse. Let's maybe get inside the mansion before we pat ourselves on the back too much, shall we? That front door's definitely a no-go. in through there trees we can cut those down good plan and now my inventory is full of wood blocks hey you never know when those will come in handy looks like some kind of kitchen in there then break the window and get us into the blasted place hope the host doesn't mind us breaking their window I'm sure he'll find it in his heart to forgive us. Wow, some kitchen. Oh, dog, you know I don't care if you took it. Just give it back. And I'm telling you for the last time, Sparkles, I didn't take the stupid thing. I think we could avoid a lot of unpleasantness. Uh, what the? Hi. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Very, very funny. Show up super late, make us all sit and wonder what the heck is going on. Now, this is your house, right? Because if it is, we've all been waiting for, like, hours. It's rude. Now, easy, Torque Dog. Wait, wait, wait. This isn't your house? Ugh. No. Be polite. No, I'm, I'm afraid we're not the ones behind this either. This is Torque Dog. Sup? And I'm Captain Sparkles. No. Maybe you know that already. Captain Sparkles? I've got, like, nine million fans? Captain Sparkles? 
Are you saying that with a Z? Those are your names? Like, your real names? Uh, yes. Oh, it's weird. Well, anyway, I'm Jesse, that's Petra, Ivor, and Lucas. Charmed. <laughs> Jesse? That's a girl's name. What are you guys, anyway? Some sort of <clears throat> loser patrol? Talk dog. Oh, come on. That was hilarious. Ah, that's a good one. You... You are very funny, I, uh, dog. Uh, wow. You know something? No one ever gets my sense of humor. I think I like you, Pipsqueak. Look, sorry if I was coming down harsh on you. You see, I was expecting to swoop in, score some sick snackage, and bounce, you know? But, uh, well, thanks to those stupid zombies, Torque Dog's trapped here with all these losers. Worst day ever. Just try and look on the bright side. Maybe we can all work together to get through those zombies, power in numbers and all that. That's what we're trying to figure out. Just can't get everyone to work together. I tell you what, the minute all them weird zombies are gone, Ugh. Torque Dog is out of here. Okay, so the sea of zombies isn't normal. It's good to hear. Two moons is normal, though, right? Um, the moons? Uh, yeah. Why don't you know about this stuff? Are you from, like, out of town or something? Ah! Now. Do you hear that? Something touched my foot. Who touched my foot? I think it stopped. But what's up with the lights? Hey, what's going on? <gasps> oh. Hey, Jesse. Jesse, come here. You've got a, a, a girl's name. Torque dog? Torque dog? So I'm guessing calling dibs on his inventory would be... That poor guy, that's so awful. Yeah, he uh, seemed like a little bit of a jerk. But that's still a nasty way to go. All those arrows, his inventory, everywhere. How did that... Who? One minute he's alive, the next... Gone. Poof! Wow, you seem pretty broken up about this. Were you guys close? I mean, not really. He was kind of a tough guy to be close with, but it's still terrible. Everyone stand back. Let me see what I can figure out. This is... why is this happening? Gunpowder, redstone dust, leather pants. Pretty much what you'd expect, I guess. Uh. Uh, who would do this? There's the trapdoor that sucked up Torque Dog's stuff. Looks like it's a match set with that arrow dispenser up there. But you saw his stuff. He didn't really have anything worth stealing. Perhaps it was simply to dispose of the evidence. Guys, found something strange about this arrow. Yeah, Ivor, you know potions and enchantments and weird stuff like that. What do you make of it? Smells like... Yes. Potion of poison? Oh, is it a t tipped arrow? Oh, I've heard of those. They're... they're still pretty new. Oh, nasty stuff. Using potions to make arrows, the possibilities are fascinating. Back up. What did you say that was? Uh, t tipped arrows? You can, like, put different potion effects on them? Could have sworn I saw someone doing a tutorial on how to make those... Not too long ago. But my nerves are too shot to remember who right now. Well, let me know if it comes back to you. Hello? Everything okay in here? Whoa! What's with the crowd? I, uh, I was just about to get everyone together to tell them at once. Okay? Hang on a minute. It's you! I recognize you. Excuse me? Uh, yes. What? Recognize us? How? I'll show you. Follow me. Um, okay. Lizzie, hi. Did you see all these new... Oh, you've got them with you. 
Well, first it was the portraits of the people already here, then poof, you guys. Whoa, that's unexpected. Yeah, no kidding. They're absolutely exquisite. Perfect. Well, not perfect. Absolutely perfect. Must have been when we showed up. Flattering how well they captured our likenesses. This is so ridiculously creepy. Right? At first I was like, oh cool, fan art, flattering. But the more I thought about it, creepy is definitely right. Well, that's definitely not a good sign. Come on, everyone. Oh, let's huddle up in the dining room. Wonder if he told them yet. Can't wait to hear the big news. Me neither. Ooh, I hope there's cake. Guess not. Come on, let's do this. Come on, Winslow. Here, let me introduce you all properly. You guys already met Cassie Rose and LD Shadow Lady. Uh, but my friends call me Lizzie. This is Stacy Plays, Stampy Cat, and that's Dan, the Diamond Minecart. W when did your hair change color? Wasn't it? It's funny. Before you guys showed up, we all knew each other here. Their names are Jesse, Petra, Lucas, and Ivor. You said that was news? Is it good? Good news? Uh, yeah. It's, um, bad news, I'm afraid. Torque Dog is dead. Good heavens! Oh, no. Wait, what? But Torque Dog was so tough! There was nothing that could take him down. What happened? Yeah, what on earth is going on here, Sparkles? These are what got him. Tipped arrows? Does this mean someone set a trap for Torque Dog? That's nasty. I can't believe Talk Dog's gone. Just like that. So, what happened to his stuff? Whoa, how can you say that? What? It's a valid question. Whoa. Come on, everyone. Come on. Don't get greedy. Just, I want to know what happened. For curiosity's sake. Why do you care so much about Talk Dog's stuff? I was just... <laughs> I was just wondering, okay? I'm, I'm a curious person. So I'm looking at this situation. I'm trying to figure something out. Is this just about Torque Dog, or is there a bigger picture? Yeah, why have our portraits? I don't know, guys. Knowing Torque Dog, I think this might just be about him. Am I picking up some beef here? Uh, what? No. I don't know what you're talking about. What, like you think he deserved it? Well, that sounds pretty harsh, but... Uh, I don't know, maybe? Well, someone brought us here for a reason, including Talk Talk. What if we're all in danger? Oh my gosh, Dan's right! Whoever's doing this, they could be hunting us! Hey, come on, everyone. If there's one thing I believe in, it's teamwork. If we all stick together and get through this as a team, we'll be fine. <laughs> inspiring. There you go, guys. Teamwork makes the dream work. Wow. Oh, all of this danger talk has my stomach all queasy. Stampy, come over here. I need to talk to you about something. Lizzie, psst, Lizzie. The more I think about it, the more I think that there's something these people really don't want us to know. One of them's got to know the truth about what's going on here. It'd be nice to figure out what on earth is going on here, especially if we're going to be stuck with these people until dawn. I say we talk to everyone and gain their trust. Yeah, good luck with that. Let's get investigating then. Hey, guys. Hey, Jesse. How's it going? Yeah, find anything out yet why Torque Dog was... you know. You guys have any theories about what's going on? Nothing concrete yet. But Lizzie and Dan over there seem like they might be hiding something. I was developing a theory that Sparkles was in on it. But even I have to admit, he just seems too nice. True that. 
That's a good idea, Lucas. Thanks. I actually just wanted to talk to you guys first. You know, check in on how you're doing. Oh, um, we're fine. Yeah, for the most part. A little weirded out with this whole situation, but other than that, I'd say we're fine. <clears throat> Very kind of you to ask, though. There's definitely something strange going on here. I'm just getting a bad feeling from the whole thing. Yeah, I'm with you. You should keep questioning people. See what you can find out. I'm gonna keep asking around about Torque Dog. Good luck. Yes, happy investigating. Hey, Sparkles, and Cassie Rose, yeah? Yep, hi, that's me. Hey there, Jesse. Oh, Winslow says hi, too. <laughs> you mind if I ask you guys some questions? Nope. What are the questions? Got any guesses why someone would kill Torque Dog? Uh, gosh, gosh. Um, he was a little prickly around the edges, you know? You'd have to ask other people about that. I, I didn't really know him. Mm hmm I don't want to say anything mean about a guy that's not here to defend himself, but, well, you met him, right? Prickly is kind of an understatement. Cassie, you seem pretty upset about people wanting to poke around Torque Dog's inventory. Oh, was I? Yeah, yeah, you were. Why was that? Well, it was just so... It's insensitive, right? I mean, it, it had just happened, and she was all curious about what was in his pockets. Just made me mad, I guess. It was drama between Lizzie and Torque Dog, right? Got any insight? Sorry, I'm not getting wrapped up in that, especially now that Torque Dog is, you know. But it's weird, right? Definitely seems like there's some beef. Uh, not that I um, want to get into rumors or anything like that. Sparkles, Cassie, Winslow. Thanks for the time. No problem. Uh, yeah, anytime. Get anything out of them? Found out this group has a whole lot of secrets they're keeping from each other. That's definitely something. Hey there, Dan. Lizzie? Oh, uh, hello? Hi there. If you don't mind, I actually had some questions about this Torque Dog situation. Yeah? Go ahead. It seemed like people were really interested in seeing Torque Dog's inventory. Any idea why? An adventurer like him? He could have had all kinds of cool stuff. Uh-huh. Lizzie, seems like you're not much of a Torque Dog fan. What's the deal? Oh, come on. You met him, right? Nobody liked that guy. I'm just the only one who will actually admit it. He, um, yeah, he definitely wasn't the nicest person. Torque Dog was clearly targeted with this trap. Why him? Well, he was bragging about having some kind of rare item. Wouldn't show it to anyone, of course. Typical talk Dog. So this rare item that Torque Dog claimed to have... What can you tell me about it? We don't know exactly. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Okay, that's it for now. Thanks. What'd you find out? It's all tangled up, but it sounds like Torque Dog claimed to have some sort of rare item. I didn't see anything like that in his inventory, though. Yeah, something's not quite adding up here. Hey guys, Stampy and Stacy, right? Oh, um, uh, hello. Hey, Jesse, what's up? I know things are a little nuts right now, but I've got some questions. Oh, really? Uh, but well, what? Stacy, you seem pretty curious about what was in Torque Dog's inventory. What's up with that? Well, Torque Dog was a pretty notorious thief. I was just curious what he had. That's it. Mm-hmm. Seems like Lizzie and Torque Dog really didn't like each other. Know anything else about that? Oh, that! Real shame, real shame. He broke into her house and stole a bunch of stuff from her. She was super upset about it. You don't say. 
Anyone you can think of that would want something bad to happen to Torque Dog? Um, well, I never had that big of a problem with him personally, but I know other people did. Quite a few, actually. I don't know if you noticed, but he was a bit of a griefer. Yeah, and a thief. Thief, huh? Interesting. Thanks, you two. This has been enlightening. No problem. Yeah, no problem. So, did you find anything out from Stacy or Sturdy Cat? Stampy Cat? Right, right. So, did you find anything out? Apparently, Torque Dog was a well known thief. A thief, huh? Well, that might have something to do with it, don't you think? Agreed. So, Torque Dog was a thief, and he supposedly had something rare, but I feel like there's still a piece missing. No one will tell me what this rare item is. I, uh, I think I can shed some light on that situation, actually. Well, now my curiosity has peaked. He already had me at rare item. Why is everyone so secretive about this thing? What's the big deal? There's a temple way out in the middle of nowhere. No one knows who built it, but it's been there forever. People have been trying to track down the temple's location for ages because they want this treasure, supposedly deep in its basement. Now, it looks just like an ordinary flint and steel, but it's actually super rare. It's got this enchantment on it. It can open portals to other worlds? Exactly. Wait, what? You know about the enchanted flint and steel? How did you know that? Did, have, you, have you seen it? Have you seen it today? Hey, I'm just a really good guesser. I was just putting pieces together. I don't really have any idea what you're talking about. Uh, not to be cynical, but I'm not sure I believe you. But I do think I'm starting to figure out why we're all here. Everyone? Everyone? Whoever killed Torque Doc, whoever invited us, they're after the enchanted flint and steel. Ah! Sparkle? in here and if we're stuck in here we're all doomed i thought i heard sparkle say something about a flint and steel oh please don't bring that up again well obviously talk dog didn't steal it okay but who then uh jesse well i guess i'm next then Nope, not happening. Don't worry, Ivor. I'll protect you. I appreciate that, Jesse. I just hope that this white pumpkin isn't beyond both of our abilities. Well, I'm sure there's a perfectly logical explanation for how the white pumpkin is doing all this. 
I mean, the whole place has got to be rigged with traps, right? Torque Dog, trap. Sparkles, trap. Yeah, we need to find out what makes these traps tick. All right, I'm gonna investigate that dining room. Cool. I'll keep those guys in the hall for now so I can keep an eye on everyone. An excellent idea. Don't want them messing up the crime scene. I'm sticking with you, Jesse. Doesn't seem safe to wander off alone. Okay, people, clear out! This is a crime scene! Okay, how are you doing this, White Pumpkin? Okay, so this was the dining table where we were all gathered together right before... Okay, let's give this a shot. Just like before. Greetings, adventurers. I am the White Pumpkin. Yep. One of you is like the before. treasure I desire, and I will not rest until it is mine, even if I have to resort to murder. It's just a costume on an armor stand with a jukebox for the voice. No sign of how it was triggered. Wow. The White Pumpkin must have some amazing redstone skills to rig up something like this. But why? Must have taken a lot of work to rig up. They must have a reason for it. I think it could have been to throw us off the trail, make us think there were two White Pumpkins or something. Well, hopefully something else in here can shed a little more light on the situation. Jesse! He's back! The White Pumpkin's back! Don't worry, everyone. It's just a dummy. A white pumpkin costume on an armor stand. Wait, what? Why? The trap that killed Sparkles, the whole show with the White Pumpkin, it was all triggered by a button on the table. But what does that mean? I am so creeped out right now. Understandably. It means that the White Pumpkin sat at this very table and pushed the button. Wait, so you're saying that the White Pumpkin is one of us? That's right, Mr. Stampy. One of us is a murderer. And he sat right here. Wait, but that's not where Jesse found the button before. There's more than one? I'll see if I can find all of them. Nice work, Jesse. Yes, I must say I'm relieved to know that there's a logical explanation for what the White Pumpkin's been doing. So what now? Feels like we've made some good progress so far, though, right? Once we get everyone calmed down, we need to keep looking for clues. So far, we found those tipped arrows and these traps, meaning that the White Pumpkin is a great brewer and a redstone expert. Okay, that's all of them. If you could all please take the same seat you were at before. Four of your seats are marked. These are the seats that had a button to activate the trap. That means the White Pumpkin could only be Dan, Stampy, Lizzie, or Lucas. Wait, you're accusing us? Wait, what? I echo their sentiments exactly. I didn't even see a button. Hey, 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 I'm not accusing anyone. Yet. It sure sounds like you're accusing us, stranger. And I don't care for it. I'm taking charge now, and I'm going to get to the bottom of this. I want everyone separated. I'm going to talk to each suspect one by one so I can find out who's telling the truth and who's lying. I got a whole lot of questions, and I want nice little matching answers for each and every one of them. Understand me? Loud and clear. Yes, crystal clear. Who are you going to interrogate first? Lizzie. Jesse, listen, there's been a lot of talk thrown around today. I don't know what people have told you. I don't know what you believe, but I'll just admit it. 
I want that enchanted flint and steel as much as anyone. Probably more than any of them. I've been searching for it for years. Do you know how much it stung to have Dan, Dan, swoop in and take it from under my nose? So aggravating. Hang on, I thought you said you found it. Well, I as good as found it. I did the research, I did the studying, I was all prepared to go in there and finally get it when that little goggle-wearing goon swept in and stole it first. Listen, I just want to get out of here and get on with my day. What do you have to hear to be convinced that the white pumpkin isn't me? Know what this is? Tipped arrow. Kinda shoddy work, though. Definitely not one of mine, if that's what you're wondering. Some noob made that thing. Stampy asked me once about how to make those. Could be one of his. Plus, I taught Cassie and Stacy how to make those a while back. You like using redstone? Ever make traps with the stuff? I'm fine, I guess. I can make lights and doors and stuff. You wanna do advanced stuff? You gotta talk to Stampy. He was the tri-block champion. Tri-block champion? Yeah, like two or three years in a row, if I recall correctly. I'm just gonna be straight. Who do you think stole the flint and steel? Well, it wasn't me, if you're curious. If I had an enchanted flint and steel, I'd be off exploring some other world with it. But me and Dan have been competing to find that thing for years. If you're looking for a likely culprit, I'd look at that guy. I'll keep that in mind. Thanks for your time, Lizzie. That's all for now. Who's up next? Send Stampy in here. Right. Hello! That was, um, Lizzie on her way out, right? Listen, I don't know what she told you, but... Jesse, I'm telling you, this is just crazy! Absolutely crazy! Total misunderstanding! I don't even want that flint and steel thingy. Not um, as much as the others at any rate. Did I hear someone saying that it has something to do with portals? I don't have any interest in portals. No, sir, not for all Mr. Stampy Cat, thank you. It's me, Stampy! Everyone's friend. I gotta say, Stampy, you seem nervous. Everything okay? You comfortable? Um, what? No, I'm not nervous. No, totally comfortable. I could fall asleep right here, right now. I'm that comfortable, honestly. Please, just tell me what you want to know. Okay, enough dancing around. Who do you think took the flint and steel? I don't think it was ever actually stolen. Oh? Yeah, so Dan got it ahead of Lizzie, right? And she was pretty angry about it. I think he made up that story about it being stolen so she'd think he didn't have it anymore. Classic Dan move. What do you know about redstone? What's your skill level with the stuff? Oh, well, you know, about average. Average level moderate. I, I don't know how these things are graded these days. That's funny. I heard from Lizzie that you were the tri-block champion. No, 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 she must be mistaken. I know that Dan's been getting really into the stuff lately, though. Just putting that out there, in case you're curious. Know anything about this? Oh, wow, what is that? Some sort of magic arrow? No, I've never seen anything like it before. Honest, Dan could probably tell you something, though. He loves weapons and all of that. You're excused, Stampy. Thank you for your time. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This room's making me very nervous. Not that it's any of my business, really, but make sure you ask Dan about that flint and steel. He's got quite the history with it. Ready for Dan? Yeah, send him in. Hey, I, I don't know what the other's been saying, but you, you have to listen. I'm telling you, you've got the wrong guy. Honest, I would never hurt anyone. You've got to believe me. If anyone's been wronged here, it's me. That enchanted flint and steel everyone's talking about, I found that. That's mine. At least it was before someone stole it. And now everything's gone completely crazy. People getting caught in horrible traps, everyone accusing and blaming each other. Wow, this flint and steel means a lot to you, doesn't it? 
You don't get it. Lizzie and I have been chasing each other to get that thing for years. And now people are dying because of it? I just want you to know the truth. I'm not the White Pumpkin. You've got to believe me. What can I tell you to convince you? Out with it. Who stole the flint and steel? I... I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. And you just expect me to believe that? Seems to me that your name's been coming up connected to that flint and steel a lot today. Just come clean with me. You're the white pumpkin, aren't you? Whoa, 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 whoa. No way. Not me. That's just not true. You have to believe You want me. your enchanted flint and steel back, and you built this whole house to get it. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't know how. Honest. Know anything about this? Oh, wow. Uh, no, I've never seen anything like that before. No? Tipped arrows not ringing a bell? Made using potions? Nuh-uh, but you want to know about stuff with potions? I'll ask Lizzie. She's way better with that stuff than I am. I always go to her with potion questions. Noted. So, how do you rate your redstone knowledge? Me? Oof, not much. Not really my scene. You want to know more about that stuff? You should ask Stampy. He was the Triblock champion. Yeah, three years in a row, according to Lizzie. There, you see? He's the only one here who could have built such amazing traps. You can go now, Dan. Thanks, Jesse. Thank you. Oh, come on! This is nuts! You had a button, too! Fair's fair. It's your buddy's turn next. Hey, Jesse. Ah, my final suspect. Here to point more fingers and blame more people, I'm sure. I didn't push the button, you know. I figured. Thanks, though. How's it been going in here? It is just non-stop whispering and rumors out there. Me, Petra, and Ivor pretty much been sticking to ourselves. I think I have my suspect. Really? You actually think you know the White Pumpkin's real identity? Yeah, I'm gonna tell everyone at once. Come on, suspect. It's time to return to the others. Panic, 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 pan